Hey everyone, welcome to the first video in this new series called Webflow Explained. In this video, I'm going to try and clear up the confusion over the Webflow pricing structure. I still see some tweets, forum posts, Reddit posts about people coming into Webflow who've never heard of it before and going immediately to the pricing page and thinking, which one do I sign up for? I'm here to answer that question and a little bit more. And to do this, I'm going to use Webflow to explain Webflow. All right, I'll show you what I mean. All right, let's break this down and go to the Webflow pricing page. Now, as you can see, there's two types of plans. There's site plans and account plans. Let's first break down the account plans. I'm gonna just try to summarize this as much as possible, but all the information is on this page. Everyone who signs up for Webflow starts on this free account plan or starter plan. It's a way for you to start kicking around the tires, going into designer tool and seeing if the no code workflow works for you. This part right here, projects, this is where a lot of people get confused. So a project is a site, basically. Once you click new website or new project inside of Webflow, that's what we're talking about. Now, all sites, no matter which account plan you're on, all sites or projects, you can publish on the internet for free. However, it'll be on a webflow.io subdomain, for example, if your Webflow site name is example name, then it'll be example name .webflow.io. All right. So any account plan, you can publish to that subdomain and see what your site looks like out on the internet. And this type of uh, publishing, we call that publishing to staging. And this is what this row of information means. Okay. With the inv individual free plan, you only get up to two projects and each of those projects only gets up to two static pages and up to 50 CMS items. So what that means is a static page is like a one-off page. Your home page is one and then make an about page or a contact page. That's all you can do. Okay. But you can also create a dynamic page like a blog post template page and have up to 50 CMS items. And so what a CMS item is, is a like one blog post is one CMS item, all right? So that should be enough for you to get into Webflow and see if it works for you. Now, this is the part where people kind of get confused because when you publish a site, it's hosted by Webflow, but we still call it unhosted. Now. Let me break down what that means. So I'm gonna use Webflow to explain this part. So let's go ahead and create a grid, give it, um, we'll give it three columns and we'll give it one row, okay? And e each grid, I'm going to have a div block and in the first div block, let's go ahead and put a bucket and this one, we're going to put a bucket as well. And in the middle, we're going to put a website. Cool. And this side, it, we're going to name it unhosted projects. And on this side, we're going to call it hosted projects. And let's just do a little styling, make that bigger, center everything and cool. We're done. All right, so when we first get into Webflow, we make a website, cool. When we press the publish button, it goes to a webflow.io link, and this is what we call an unhosted project. So this would move to here, okay? And for the starter plan, you can have up to two. And if you want to create a third one, well, you can't. You've used up your unhosted projects bucket, okay? This bucket is full for you. However, each Webflow account comes with a bucket of unlimited, there we go, unlimited hosted projects. When I add a Webflow site plan to one of these, it leaves this bucket and goes into the hosted projects bucket. 
which means that you have another slot open for an unhosted project. And so if I, if I make a new website, and then publish it to webflow.io, then it goes into this, come on, whoops. And then it goes into that bucket. And so now I have three projects. Now, another note for when you add hosting to a project, not only does it go into this bucket, but it also unlocks everything that you get with the site plan. For example, instead of just having two pages, you get up to a hundred. And if you add the CMS site plan to the hosted project, then you get up to 2000 uh, CMS items. Now, if we go back to the individual plans, you'll see that the light plan, you can have up to 10 unhosted projects and the pro you can have unlimited. Now you might be thinking, why should I ever upgrade? You know, if I can just add a site plan to my site and get all the things I need. Well, a lot of people do that. One scenario for that is if you are just building a website for yourself, then don't upgrade your account. Just add a site plan to your website and that's it. Or if you're able to have your client pay for the site hosting, which what we call client billing, you can add the site plan to the website and forward that bill over to your client and you will never have to pay for Webflow. Your clients are paying for their own site through your account and yeah, that's it. If you have a lot of clients and a lot of them want to see their site tested before they go live, before they even pay for the site hosting, then you would need to upgrade to the Lite account or the Pro account if you have a lot, a lot of clients. Now, hopefully that explains the account plans. Now let's break down the hosting. So hosting or site plans are added per site. Now with site plans, you have three different types. Okay. You have basic CMS and business. So basic is like a landing page or a click funnel. So this is good for that. Okay. But if your client wants to maintain the site themselves or has a blog or some other dynamic data, then that would be CMS. If your client has a lot of dynamic data, then that's when you would go to business. Now, if your client has uh, products that they want to sell, that's when you would go to the different tab for Webflow e-commerce and there's a pricing for that. Yeah, so that's about it. But again, the main part of the confusion is usually the hosted versus unhosted uh, for account plans. Okay, so again, you have hosted projects and you have unlimited hosted projects. Whenever you build a site, it's an unhosted project. And when you add a site plan to it, it becomes hosted and you can have an unlimited amount of websites in that bucket. Uh, let me know if this video helps you understand this more. Uh, let me know if you still have questions, put them in the comments. I'll be watching them and answering those questions as fast as I can. But thank you so much for watching. And as always, make the web beautiful together. See ya.